Hello and welcome back. In this video, I am going to be sharing my knowledge and my energy with you and showing you how to align your thoughts to create any desired outcome. If you are here for the first time, hi, my name is Rochelle and the brand that I created for YouTube is called the DIY Affiliate. It's also known as DIY Affiliate Marketing. I can also be found on other social media platforms under the DIY Affiliate and also the secret YouTuber on TikTok. I am thankful and grateful for all of my new subscribers, all of the likes and the comments, and all of my loyal subscribers who I see are watching my videos all the time. Thank you. What is the reason that you are here? Are you looking for a way to be able to manifest? Manifest is a very magical word. Are you looking for a way to be able to manifest, create, and draw something into your reality? Is that what you are looking for? If that is what you are looking for, then you have arrived at the right time and this is the right channel. Looking for a way to be able to manifest something into your reality. I call this a desired outcome. It's an average person who has put together an algorithm that I feel and I know works. Who's looking for answers about different things. About the law of attraction, about especially the law of attraction because everybody talks about the law of attraction. Now I'm just being real with you here. Just being myself. And it's not just about the law of attraction. I realized that there were other laws that worked with the law of attraction that needed to be invoked or tapped into. And that's when I found the law of one, the law of vibration, the law of gratitude, and the law of cause and effect. So that with the law of attraction works together. But is that enough? You also have to believe. You need to believe deep down in your core that you are going to be able to have, going to be able to manifest your own desired outcome, whatever it is. Whether it is for a larger house, whether it is for a safer car, whether it is so that you can have stability and financial freedom by having the money to be able to do anything in your life. Money is something that gets people excited. Money is physical, but it also is energy. So when you start to align all of the energies and tap into the laws that govern the energies around you, you will be in the same flow as money. Money is something that helps people to live a better life, to buy a bigger house, to have a safer car, to buy clothes that fit them and they, and they look healthy, to have a healthy lifestyle. But money is energy. You can use this algorithm for manifesting anything in your life. Now, I say that I created this algorithm, but I didn't create it. I just put elements together. For people who don't know what an algorithm is, it is a set of directions or instructions that leads to a final outcome. As an example, follow the directions to make a cake. And your cake will come out fluffy and delicious. If you don't follow the directions, your cake may not be the way that you want it to be. So, let's get connected. The algorithm that I put together is the five laws of universal energy plus believing plus visualizing plus feeling plus action equals a manifested desired outcome. Isn't that exciting? I am so excited that you are here and you are not here by mistake. You are here because you are looking 
for a way to be able to manifest, to be able to create. We are sending out vibrations and frequencies all the time, but we don't realize it. We are walking in, swimming in, flying in, jumping in, a world of energy. And I'm not talking about the energy, how you're feeling. How's your, is your energy up? Are you energetic? Or I'm not talking about that energy. I'm talking about the energy that you don't see, the unseen energy. And I will be talking about five laws that govern universal energy that will help you to be able to manifest your own desired outcome. Do you ever sometimes feel like you're not on track? I know it sounds funny, but do you ever feel that you're not on track, that you're off track, or you're off focus, or you can't see something, or you feel you can't make something, or you feel like something is holding you down? It may be negative energy. There is another law that is not part of the algorithm, but it is very important, and that is the law of resistance which is the opposite to the law of attraction. So if you are trying to attract something into your life through manifesting, you also need to have the belief in your manifestation. Be able to visualize an image, at like a snapshot that you can pull up at any time and feel how you would actually feel where are you when your desired outcome happens? What are you doing? Who are you with? Can you smell the smells that are around? Can you hear the sounds that are around? This is all part of the algorithm and it's a very, very important part of the algorithm. Believing down to your core that your desired outcome has already happened. Okay, so you, you might say like, how could you say that? That makes no sense. And it made no sense to me either. Until I did research. And I realized that it's not just about the law of attraction. It's also about other laws that govern universal energy. Believing, believing that your desired outcome has already happened and feeling, emotions, emotions. As we are always vibrating at a certain frequency, this is the energy signature that we are sending out to the universe with our thoughts. And looking for the exact same thing to be sent back to us, to bring into our reality to become aware for the universe, to become aware that you have sent this energy signature out and that you are looking for the exact same one to be sent back to you. Now you do have to be careful with that, very careful, because if you are sending something out to the universe that maybe you might not even be aware of, you are asking for the exact same thing back. As an example, I understand, I understand that longer videos can be boring sometimes, but it's so hard to be able to put this information all in sh like short point forms with no emotion, no thought, uh, nothing behind it. That's very hard to do, so I apologize if this video is a little bit longer. See, I normally do not do these type of videos, but I want to be real and I want to show you that I am a real person, that you can talk to me or communicate with me. We are creating a connection right now and I'd love to hear your comments. As an example, feeling negative. If you are sending negative vibrations out to the universe, you are asking for the universe to send you back negative vibrations. I am telling you about this algorithm for manifesting a desired outcome not for YouTube, but to reach the people who are really trying to manifest and bring something into their life. 
I am sharing my knowledge and my thoughts and my experience with you, whoever is listening. And now we are connected. But you might be saying to yourself, why isn't she talking about money? Why isn't she talking about financial freedom? Why isn't she talking about all the things that the law of attractions is said to bring you? I am sharing with you my knowledge of an algorithm for manifesting a desired outcome because it works. It worked for me when I first discovered and put together the elements for the algorithm for my first book, Project Mars, The Secret Agenda. And I also used it for my second book, A Newbie's Journey Through the Self-Publishing Amazon Jungle. And I try to use it every single day in my life because we are giving off this vibration. We are giving off a frequency. And it is tr attracting into our life and bringing into our reality what we think we want. But if you don't realize that what you are sending out to the universe is not exactly what you want, then this algorithm for manifesting a desired outcome will help you to be able to focus on the steps and the elements that help to pinpoint and strategize to put together. I am creating energy. This energy I am creating right now between my hands. I am using my thoughts because thoughts become things. I am using my thoughts to create this energy, such as a ball of energy between my hands. The algorithm will help you to create the right energies to put in this energy ball and to have the right type of believing, visualizing feelings to be able to put in this energy ball. So I've got this energy ball and now I'm going to throw that energy ball out to the universe looking for the exact same thing to come back to me. What is in your energy ball? What is in your energy? What is your vibration right now? Check your vibration. Are you feeling happy, alive, excited? Your mind is open, your heart is open. Feeling loving. Some people call it love and above. The 528 hertz and above. 528 hertz. Transformation and miracles. DNA repair. Me is used to return human DNA to its original perfect state by communicating the wanted effect and with energy support from the light miracles can happen. Process of DNA reparation is followed by beneficial effects. Increased amount of life, energy, clarity of mind, awareness, awakened or activated creativity, ecstatic states like deep inner peace, dance and celebration will also open the person for deep spiritual experiences and spiritual enlightenment. 528 Hertz. There we go. Now we are creating the right energy that's around us. Are you ready? If you don't have the app, it's called the Ancient Sofa Show Tones and Frequencies. I will leave the link in the description for Google Play or iOS. Okay, so let's begin. The first law is the law of one. We are all connected. We are connected to everything and everybody. There is nothing that we are not connected to. You are now connecting with me through this also creating energy that I am sending out to the universe and you are sending out to the universe. The second element, the algorithm, is the law of vibration. Everything and everyone, down to the smallest atom, even objects such as your computer, your desk, your phone, are in constant motion, 
are constantly moving, are constantly vibrating, and sending out a specific frequency all of their own. This day, I am sharing my energy with you. I am also sending out a specific frequency and a specific vibration. Feeling the higher levels of vibration and frequency, such as love and above will raise your own vibration and your own frequency. Next element is the law of attraction. Now, everybody knows what the law of attraction is, but how does the law of attraction really work? The energy that you are creating with your thoughts will manifest into your life. So, positive thoughts manifest positive experiences. Negative thoughts manifest into negative experiences in your life. Remember, your thoughts become things. The next element in the algorithm is very, very important. It is one of the most important laws that govern universal energy. It is the law of gratitude. To tap into and unlock this very important sacred law of gratitude and it's just this it's just like having a thankful attitude expressing appreciation giving thanks feeling grateful for something that you have already received in your life but here is the key feeling grateful for something that you have not yet received in your life This will help to raise your vibration and your frequency. And it works well with the law of attraction, the law of vibration, and the law of one. Being grateful. Attract through the law of attraction into your 3D reality life. You will be able to manifest things into existence. The next element is the law of cause and effect. Cause and effect is a very important law that governs universal energy. It says that every single action produces a reaction in the universe. No matter what, every single effect within our world, within our life, on this earth, has a cause an original starting point. All causes have an original starting point. The first step is the most important step that you take. This will cause a sequence of events, like dominoes, stretch out in all directions, and so on and so forth. Duplication, replication. This is creating karma all of our thoughts and behaviors and everything that we do. Now here is the proof in the pudding. Every single item is connected in the universe. The law of one. This is relative. And nothing is separate. You are moving at all times. You are vibrating at all times. The law of vibration. As an example, if I move my hands around, I'm moving the air around. And since the air is also connected to all of the rest of the space in the universe, everything and everyone is affected, even when you just move your hands. I know it's hard to wrap your head around, but stay with me for a second. All objects, including you, are connected within the same space and mind. Objects, including you, occupy the same space at the same time. There is no separation. So if you move your hand, you are now moving this space which is connected to all things. The next parts to manifesting a desired outcome 
is believing, visualizing, your feelings, and an action. I cannot guarantee that manifesting and using the algorithm for manifesting a desired outcome is going to work for you because that is up to you. But I can say that if you are tapping into and using and understanding the universal laws of energy, especially of the law of vibration, where everything and everyone vibrates, and everything and everyone is giving off a specific vibration as a specific frequency, being grateful will work with the law of attraction to help manifest your thoughts into things, into a desired outcome to pull into your life, to manifest into your life. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Are you feeling happy, energized, alive? Or are you feeling down, depressed? How you feel matters. This is your dominant vibration and frequency. You might put on a smile and everybody will say, Oh, this person looks happy. But deep down inside, you cannot lie to your soul. And this is the vibration and the frequency that you are sending out to the universe. Are you looking for ways to bring more money into your existence? Money is physical, but money is also energy. If you align your energies with the energies of money, then you will flow with the flow of money because then money will flow into your life. That is one example. A lot of people, this is what they think about. They just think, I want to make money. It's not just about making money. What if you had all the money in the world? What would you do? You'd want to share. You'd want to give to people. You would be compassionate. You would be grateful. Or you might not be. But whatever your actual feelings are, no matter what it looks like on the outside of the reality 3D world, whatever your feelings are is the vibration and the frequency that you are sending out to the universe. It's your own personal vibration and frequency that you are sending out. You ever hear the expression, oh, you walk in the room and the room lights up. You light up the room. That's possible. I personally find that positive feeling energy is light. Negative feeling energy is dense. And it, it's pressure that you can actually feel. Yes, and I'm talking about gravity, but I'm also talking about pressure that you can feel from negative energy. So a person that has a positive attitude, and everybody says, okay, well, you got to have a positive, you got to think positive. It's not just about thinking positive. About using all of the elements of the algorithm to be able to create this energy ball to send out to the universe manifest the energy ball send it out to the universe do an action towards your desired outcome thank you for watching this video thank you for listening to me i appreciate all of your likes subscribes and please your comments this will help me and also show the YouTube algorithm that you like this video, you like what I'm doing, and they will then send it out to the YouTube universe looking for people who are looking for this information. You will be helping other people. I am thankful and grateful for everyone, for all of the likes, the subscribes, and also leave me a comment and tell me where you are on your journey. Stay safe. Looking forward to hanging out with you in the next video.